Good day guys and welcome back. So I hope you're all doing well and staying healthy and not uh, getting too crazy stuck inside. Alright, so uh, this is uh, part number 10 maybe, or 11 actually. You know what, I'm not even sure. Um, but uh, yeah, we're getting on there. So um, I have um, skipped a little bit where we uh, meet the uh, great greybeards for the first time. I'm sure you guys have all played through that plenty of times and probably watched it plenty of times as well. So I will save you from having to sit through that again. So uh, now we are... What are we up to now? We're off to collect the Horn of Jürgen Windcaller. And um, again, I'm sure you guys know all about that one. Oops. And that is uh, at... Ustingrave, I do believe. Yes, it is. So, got a fair old trek there. And we're still stuck up on top of the mountain. The throat of the world. A little bit breezy. A little cold. And as you probably noticed, I have changed up my trees again. So, um, this is the next um, tree setup that I'm uh, testing before I launch into my next uh, Ultimate Trees installation guide. So, fairly big clue there. I'm thinking most of you guys are going to be able to guess what I have running here. Um, but it is more than one tree mod, so I'll just give you that little clue. And I won't say too much more. So yeah, sound off in the comments, let me know what you think I've got running at the moment. And I may or may not have a Dindilod 3D Ultra Trees running. Okay, you know what I'm thinking. Um, we take the quick way down. And I thought this way too, travelling across quite a bit of the map, um, it would be a good chance for me, and I guess also you guys, um, just to check out the current um, tree setup, see what it all looks like. Which will then uh, help me to make a decision as to um, what I'm going to have in the next Ultimate Trees Guide. I must say those pine needles do look good. I do miss those pine needles. I mean, just look at those. Just look at those. They're gorgeous. I love them. And I noticed too, nobody uh, managed to guess my current grass setup. It's just one mod, nothing um, tricky about it. Uh, I'm going to just keep it through all this uh, testing of tree mods. Um, I'll keep the grass as it is. So yeah, if you think you've got an idea what it might be, um, sound off. Let me hear it. Um, nobody's guessed it yet. And I have tried, I'm pretty sure, all of the grass mods that you can uh, load up for Skyrim SE. So yes, it is one I have tried before. Alright, that was a nice shortcut. I like it. So again, I've lost a little bit of performance, I'm probably sitting around maybe 50, I'm guessing. Let's just have a look. 
Okay, uh, about 45 actually. I'll just leave that up for a while actually so you guys can um, see the hit. Yeah, so it's probably averaging about 45, but it's getting up to around 50 quite a bit as well, so... Ah, uh, that's not too bad. That's as bad as I'd like it to get, though. Wow, how about this weather? Ew, not you. Quick run. Oh my god, there's that rabbit again. Okay, he deserves to live after dodging that one. You don't know how lucky you are then. Oh, another one. What the hell was that? It almost sounded like an arrow. But it didn't quite sound like an arrow. I have no idea what that sound was. My god, it's rabbit season. Well, maybe it's the same one. Okay, there's a huge giveaway if you haven't worked it out already. The um, a dead trunk lying across that rock down there. So that's part of the mod. Anyway, there is another uh, another mod going on as well, which is probably going to be a little bit harder to guess. Oh, I see trouble. I see big trouble. Let's show these guys how my two-handed skill has improved. Oh, that looked dodgy as... Okay. Well, hello you there. there. You're the one they call Dragonborn. Uh, apparently so, yes, I am. Your lies fall on deaf ears, Deceiver. The true Dragonborn comes. You are but his shadow. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him.
Is that Probably went in there a little bit hard, hey? Check out the look on his face. He's petrified. None shall stand against me, and that's silence. what we do to people like you. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll grab that. Whatever you need. Buy each mirror if it's simple and strong. I can forge it. Thank you very much, Alvor. You're a legend. Scroll of Blizzard. I always grab the scrolls, but I never use them. Um, I'm just going to let it go. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. Yes, we've actually had this discussion already. Riverwood's agreeable enough, like, I suppose. Last time I passed it. Village. Got chicken. Look how much cleaner my bridges look. Thank you so much to the person that dropped that hint on the um, cleaner bridges mod. I'm sorry, I can't remember your name. Um, but yeah, I definitely needed that. And wow, what an improvement. Good. Does that log look? I love that log. I miss those logs. I really do. So I've got a decent view of some uh, distant tree lodges there. So this is the first time I've been through the um, Tundra region here with the um, new grass mod I've got running and I'm noticing straight away that the uh, distant um, sort of landscape lod uh, which is that ye light yellow that you see in the distance there um, really doesn't match this grass because it's fairly dark um, You'll probably find too that that does actually change um, with the different weathers, uh, different lighting conditions. Um, but right now at the moment, which is fairly clear and fairly bright, um, yeah, it's not really matching too well. Uh, you can see the grass just sort of uh, rendering in there. Um, it's a definite boundary. Um, I really don't like that. So there is a um, couple of mods that you can get that actually darken, like the landscape, the distant landscape lord. Uh, so I might actually think about um, installing one of those just to uh, darken that up in the distance there just so it um, blends a little bit better with the close-up grass and it's not so obvious where that uh, boundary between the two are. Oh, 
Well, I've got some uh, weird stuff going on up there with the trees. Looks like I've got a few sideways. Maybe dead fallen over trees, but they're about <laughs> five meters in the air. I'm just going to go over there and <laughs> check those out, actually. Uh, I've never seen that before. It's really weird. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what it is. Dead tree. Ah, uh, and it's gone. Yeah, okay, that's really weird. So, a couple of little issues there. Um, obviously, this exact setup I have going at the moment uh, won't be... <laughs> my um, installation guide for 2020, uh, Ultimate Trees installation guide. And actually, I think I've got a floating tree up ahead as well. I don't know. Oh, maybe the Lord was, I'm not even sure. Looks fine now though. Dude, are you still chasing me? And, oh, that's interesting too. For anyone that's wondering, I'm um, going to give a big clue away here, I've actually got Dindulot running. And um, occasionally you'll get something like that. This is uh, right in the centre of the map, um, above this giant camp. And if you have any items floating up there like that, which are, um, are basically LOD, which are created by Dindulot, it actually means that there is a mod in your list um, which has deleted something out of the game uh, incorrectly. So Dingerlot actually picks it up as an item and makes a lot out of it for some reason and it ends up right in the centre of the map right there. Um, so the idea is you have to go through and try and work out which mod has incorrectly deleted an item out of the game which is now appearing in the centre of your map. And I'm certainly no expert on how to do that so I won't say any more on it but I'm sure there's some... Um, videos and um, stuff online. Uh, maybe just Google it and see what you can find. I'll probably have to do the same thing. Oh, Foxy, what are you doing? He cut me off. God, I thought that deer was coming at me. So the best thing for me about this current tree setup is the close-up trees, the um, full rendered trees. Um, they look gorgeous, and I love them. But unfortunately, um, that's, that's where it sort of ends. Um, anything that's not close up, um, unfortunately, doesn't look the best. Okay, this could get a little interesting. I'm actually thinking about doing the bolt right through the middle. And hoping we get to the other side in one piece. Or maybe we'll take our time and take out everything we can see that moves. Yeah, keep on coming. Oh, what? You've had enough. Oh, can't go burying your head in the snow. I think I might just leave my boat out. Oh, 
Oh, it looks way too quiet through there. Way too quiet. Yeah, I'm tempted to just run through, but... I've just got a funny feeling that was... It's going to end badly. And I don't have the greatest stamina, so I wouldn't get very far anyway. God, where are you? Oh, how did he see me so fast? We've got a great hiding spot up here. Oh, thank you for stopping. Okay, so far so good. And now I can hardly see. That's um that's just perfect. Alright, let's just go for it now. Just waiting, waiting. <coughs> and now I might run. I wonder if I'll survive if we go straight over the edge. Okay, that works. Now I'm sort of stuck on a cliff, but... Um, hey, nothing's chasing me. Um, okay, I might just slide down here. Ugh. And, wow, we're out of it. And I do love these snow trees, too. I love all the snow piled up in the branches. That looks pretty cool. I've always liked that. God, how fast do you move, buddy? You were at Riverwood not that long ago. Are you finished ogling the grotesque? I suppose I should be grateful you didn't simply attack me. Well, we pretty much straight lined it. He's been just strolling along the paths. And he still got there at the same time. How is that even possible? Maybe he has a twin brother. That could be it. Ooh, what have I done here? Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Got away with it. Actually, what did we just come down? Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I thought I heard something. I see you. Um, I did see you. Oh my god. There's heaps of them. Okay. There's at least two left. Oh shivers. Please don't miss. Ugh. Um, You can just keep your arrows too. I don't even want them back. Oh wow. So it went from... Uh, Pretty heavy snow shower to um, pretty heavy rain. We're um, copping all the weather. And like I've said before, I do love the look of this rain now. This EMB rain, it's um, starting to look really good. And I think I mentioned on another video um, you can actually go into the EMB and actually uh, tweak it and change a few settings to change it up a little bit as well if it's not quite what you're after
Mm. Oh, hang on. Sort of my favourites have gone. No, I can't even move that for some reason. I guess we get wet feet. I guess with this sort of weather, it doesn't really matter. Yay, we found it. Oh, as I suspected, we're not alone. Oh my god. I think they know I'm here. Oh, that's just sneaky. That's so sneaky. Ow. side are you going to go? I'm guessing the right side. Dude, are you stuck in that tree? Make a body. We'll just uh, leave that one alone. And actually, we'll leave this one here too, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Um, sound off in comments. Let me know what the um, two uh, tree mods are that I have running. Um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what you guys think. Um, one of them is pretty obvious. And I um, hope you enjoyed that. Please leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe for more content just like this. And uh, thanks for your support, guys. Really appreciate it. We'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.